Hey guys, this is Max from MHS Prod. I hope you're good and today we will meet for a new tutorial where we will talk about Substance Painter and Pixel Dirt Rig, which is an espresso rig uh, to make great looks. So I've posted these uh, nice pictures in uh, our Facebook group MD Community, Motion Designers Community, that you can join. There's mostly French guys, but uh, we allow to English posts and people are really nice. So this is a really great place to ask uh, some tips and chart renders. So this is my first result uh, coming with Substance. Uh, there is some nice and bad things. One of the great uh, thing is uh, the quality of the, all the edge wells and stuff like that. And I can point that uh, the roughness here is not so good. So this is uh, coming from a tutorial that I'm following actually to get better. It's called Make It Look Great and that's a really nice tutorial. And I come up with uh, this result without a substance, just uh, doing stuff inside Octane Render with the pixel dirt trick. So it's going to be the focus of the day. Uh, should you use a Substance Painter or can you make it directly with Octane, Octane and with the help of some tools like this rig. So I can directly tell you some stuff, uh, some nice cool things that you have in Octane and cool thing you have in Substance. One of the greatest thing in Octane is that you are all parametric so at any moment, if I do not like uh, the roughness or the dirt angle or something else, I can directly change it inside of my renderer, just coming in my materials and tweaking them. So that's the best point for me is that it's really, really cool for all the stuff. But if you want to do with Substance some change like that, you need to go back in Substance. You need to go back to your materials and change the stuff and then re-export it. And to use Substance, you need to have some uh, UVs and it can, be, it can be a pain. But one of the great things is that you can re do really, really nice and nice um, smart materials and painting. You can even paint with some particle systems or even directly use um, some alphas, some, you have some normal maps. It's a really nice and you can't do this kind of texturing directly inside Octane. So this is my result with uh, the Pixel Lab, uh, Pixel Dirt. And the other render is looking like that inside of Octane. If you want to learn my workflow about Substance to Octane, you should definitely go to our channel, MHS Tuts and you should check this video Substance Painter to Octane Render. This is a nice video where I show you how to get the Substance Painter look directly inside of... Uh, oh, this is not... This is not the... This is another test, so let's, <laughs> let's go back. Let's go back in the files. It was uh, there. No, sorry about that. It was this one. No. Oh, that's because I. Uh, I think I erased. I erased my all my materials. So this was the result I get by sending these maps into Octane Render, and I will just close. So I've got this look and I just uh, save it. So we will start from scratch and try to achieve the same look with the Pixel Dirt, which is a really nice plugin that you can find on the Pixel Lab website. And this is called Pixel Dirt Rig for Octane, grunge it up. And that's uh, a very cool, uh, very cool one. So I will disable my head and we will start right now. 
So let's jump into Octane. And at the moment, I will just work with another Octane Sky. And I will kill all my materials to start at the beginning. So I hope you will learn some great stuff and I hope you will enjoy uh, texturing tips that uh, you can learn today. I will toggle the infos just to focus on the render. So I will show you my workflow with uh, the pixel uh, rig. And uh, as I said before, if you want to learn substance my substance workflow let's just go to this uh, video so i will just uh, right click and create a new material there create material i will create a glossy material and it's going to be my black uh, my black material just increase a bit the roughness by 0.05 and then it's going to be very quick. That's what I like, uh, why I like Pixel Dirt Rig when you need to do a huge scene with uh, nice details, you can do everything directly in Octane Render. So if you need to do great texturing with a lot of objects, it's sometimes clever to do this directly. Substance Painter is, in my opinion, more for close-ups or um, very close uh, when you're very close to an object so i will increase the bit the roughness for example and it's going to be my uh, edge wear so let's call a new pixel uh, dirt trick so it's very simple to call let's shift c then a pixel dirt trick Let's put the object too dirty into it. Let's put the material there and let's put it on all the other part that you want to be textured by uh, this. So let's go back there. Let's take our clean material. Let's go back into the live viewer. Let's take the scratch part. Let's add some low codes and probably add a pattern. And it's it works like a really cool smart smart materials with some limitation, but it's I feel like I'm a bit in substance in terms of what I can do really easily. So let's uh, add a bit more. Um, Power to my low code and less amount. Let's crank it a bit the brightness to see it a bit more there. And let's put, for example, a bigger index. So it's very cool to grunge or object. And then I will go to my scratch material and drag and drop this. So I will call the edge where and one of the point I disliked the most is that it's really hard to achieve the same look that you have in um, in this image because here the edge world looks really nice but it's done with substance and it's you can't have it directly because it will depend of your mesh with Octane Render because it works with some dirt, uh, dirt node. So that was my only deception point, but I really liked the leaks look. So I've had it hit and I liked it a lot with all the, this really nice uh, leaks. So you can go to leaks and add more amount. You can tweak it a bit the size, you can tweak it a bit transformation to put it uh, where you want and that's really nice to work like that with project projections because uh, it's very easy to modify and you will have some great looks really easily. So I will put 
for example, less amount of my leaks. Probably let's stay with that and had just a little bit of body uh, scratches. And I think it's nice. It's, it's quite different from my first test done for the French version. Here you see the leaks, the low coat, and I've had it this really cool uh, patterns by going there and adding lines. And it's not easy to see right now, but if we change the HDR sky to or to my new, new sky, you will saw it. So at the moment, you didn't see um, it. So let's jump back here and add the two other elements. And I think it will update there. Mm, it didn't update update at the moment, so I don't know why it didn't work. Uh, it worked well for my uh, French version of the tutorial, so I think my mistake was probably to forgot to put all my material first first there. It's kind of strange. I will take it back by going to utilities. So. It's sometimes good on tutorials to have some problems because you will learn how to correct um, some of your problems. So let's try that. And let's see if I add my materials and I think that's good. So just duplicate it. And I have uh, now my displacement map everywhere so just jump back here let's go to pattern let's switch back to lines and that's nice I have my lines but in another angle that's kind of strange so transform and put the direction to Y and now that's good so sometimes you will need to tweak it a bit if you do mistakes like me. I'm really sorry about that because uh, in my French version of this tutorial, this worked well uh, directly, but you can enjoy, enjoy the thing that you can just directly go to pixel dirt and by going to setup, you can unlock all the materials and do your own things so now let's create some cool materials on the there and i think it's going to be okay so let's duplicate two times the glossy and just change the specular for example one like that and another uh, like that Let's go to here and let's put my material there. So right now I will call another pixel dirt by hitting shift C pixel dirt. And now I will drag and drop all my objects. Can be a bit of pain. So. Sorry about the long drag and dropping session. And now let's move all the materials there. That's okay, but I love to have my material right there and can just delete that. Let's go there and put my clean material here and add some scratch at this one and had some body just to add some noises cool noises there and I think uh, it looks nice 
I have nice level of detail. I have nice age where I have a, a really cool, a really cool look. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick, uh, this quick video to compare uh, uh, pixel dirt and substance. As you see, this is a really high quality uh, espresso node, and you can do everything directly in Octane. If I decide to change my mind and change the global color, I can just go on material and change the color. And you're not able to do uh, this directly inside of Substance. You need to go back to Substance, re-export your maps. And so this is my final result made um, with uh, Pixel Dirt. And this is one of my final results first test with uh, substance and as i said uh, if i do not like the roughness there i need to go back in substance so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned some stuff i hope you discovered some workflow tips and if you want to go uh, and learn very cool workflow tips about substance i invite you to go watch uh, my video about my uh, substance to obtain workflow and let's feel free to join channel you have a lot of tutorials in the content language in the upper right you can join to our channel motion designers uh, where you can find really really great renders and inspiration you can join to the instagram motion designers really great renders and inspiration too and we also have a facebook page now which is pretty new, but it's uh, the same concepts. It's for inspiration and sharing stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next time.